So go ahead and give him another one after a really, really impressive Sunday. Brent Belk to lead things off for South Carolina. He promptly drives the first pitch from Gillian right down the line and left and is around first, sliding into second with a leadoff double. And South Carolina quickly pouncing on Gillian and the Tar Heels. Belk with a leadoff double. That's his ninth of the season. Peak to second by Gillian and the pitch to the plate. Missed outside and he walked him on four straight. Wimmer at the plate from the right side, shows bunt, puts it down, third base side of the mound. Gillian gets to it, throws, and it's way late, falling away from the play. Stokely covering the bag, fields it on one hop, and everybody's safe. The 1-0. Bouncing ball towards third. Horvath steps on third, throws a rope over to first. 5-3 on the double play. A run comes in as Belk makes it 1-0 in favor of South Carolina. But that's about as good as Carolina in the field could have hoped for to turn two and now with two away and a runner at second, the dynamics of this inning have changed greatly. Good job of getting weak contact there from Gillian and a smart play from Horvath. For the Gamecocks at the plate for the right side. Swings at the first pitch, drives it the other way towards right field and underneath it well in front of the warning track is Angel Zarate and Carolina gets out of the inning. The strike zone but Grint set up low, had to reach up for it. And that's the same exact spot, that's just below the letters to Seitler. Another pitch comes inside, and it looks like it grazed Burgess on maybe his left arm. And down to first. Completely four and for them. Next pitch lined into right field. That'll score Seitler from third. Zarate comes up throwing a strike towards the plate. Almost cut off by Stokely. It ricochets off his glove towards third base. Two runs come in on the two out. Two RBI single off the bat of Brent Belk, and that has South Carolina now 3-0 in the top of two. The 2-2. Little dribbler up the first baseline. Mott gets to it, throws over to first. And that'll do it for the inning for South Carolina. Here's Jones 0-1. There's a smash down the line in right. That'll fall and roll to the warning track. Frick holds up at first base. It's cut off well by Seitler. And the Tar Heels designated hitter at first with one down in the second for Eric Rentz. Season for Madden. Second pitch to Stokely, bounced over to first base. Belt throws to second for one, back down to first. And Stokely punched out on what was a nifty inning-ending double play ball turned by South Carolina. To be able to receive a throw that's coming from second. First pitch, Wimmer pushes it the other direction down the line at first. It careens off the wall. Zarate gets to it, and Wimmer looked like he had a for sure double until that ball bounced back into fair play. And it's a leadoff single, it delivers. And it comes inside and it hits Eister. That's driven into left field. Madea is back, looking up at the track and it is gone. South Carolina has done damage with two down in innings so far. It was Belk with the two RBI single back in the second. In the third, Mahoney hits a three run homer to put South Carolina up six to nothing. And how out of character is that for Mahoney? It's his first dinger on the season. Fastball belt high, running into the right. He just opened up his hips and hit a frozen rope out of here. When he was at Coastal, fires a first pitch that's bounced up the middle. Soretti has it roll up his glove behind second base. And Eister is safe. The one two to the plate. And it came inside and hit him. Another hit batter. That's the third of the game. Burgess and Eister were plunked previously. Peavy House has to find the way to keep things under control as he uncorks a wild pitch. Both runners advance. Second and third for the Gamecocks. Initial offering to Burgess. A swinging strike. Ball gets away from Grin. So run comes in to score from third as Madden slides in. Big plume of chalk and dirt. Floats up into the air after he crosses the plate. Plate. Bouncing ball back up the middle and into center field. Seitler scores to make it eight to nothing. Another two out base hit that scores a run, Cal. That has been South Carolina's bread and butter since this one got underway. Gamecocks in the fifth. The pitch got him looking for strike three. And that'll do it for South Carolina in the fifth. Castagnazzi puts a charge into a fly ball to deep left center field. It's a towering shot. South Carolina won't get it, and Carolina's on the board. 
Johnny Castagnazzi sails the fence for the eighth time this year. RBI number 17. And Carolina has cut the deficit now to seven, eight, one Gamecocks. Love to see that from Johnny, just continuing a trend of this season with multi-hit games, had a single his first time up, and more importantly, Dave, struck out his second time up, and it was on a couple of check swings on breaking balls that he just didn't see very well. Saw this one pretty well, though. Next pitch to Soretti, slapped into shallow right center field, and it's back-to-back -back base knocks for Carolina. Callum beginning to think the broadcaster's jinx is hard at work. You said that Austin... Bouncing ball over to short. Wimmer turns to Mahoney, throws wide a second. The ball lands in foul territory in the visitor's bullpen. That'll be an easy extra base for Soretti to take. And another error goes up on the scoreboard for South Carolina, the third of the game. And again, it bears noting this is the first time that Wimmer has started at shortstop. Seven home runs on the season. As the first pitch sailed up and in and got a piece of his helmet. Thank goodness that was all it got. The 2-1. Madej, long fly ball to right field, but not nearly long enough as the catch made by Seitler just in front of the warning track. A fan gets a souvenir, and the inning comes to a conclusion. Lined in the center. Honeycutt on the run. Honeycutt on the move. Honeycutt with the dive. And how about that pilfer of the base hit? Vance Honeycutt strikes again and steals a base knock off the bat of Andrew Eister. Payoff pitch, Zarate. Flare into left center field, splits the gap, runs up against the wall. Zarate's into second, standing up with a one-out double. Ball didn't look real threatening off the bat, Kyle, but it carried, and between Lambros and Stone, nobody could get to it. Comes set. The pitch, Castagnazzi, big chopper over to second base. Mahoney had to wait on it. Throws over to first base. Castagnazzi set down four to three. And here we are again, Kyle. Two outs, a runner in scoring position as Zarate ambles down from second to third. Esposito's pitch to Soretti back up the middle, over second base, into center field. Into score from third is Zarate. And the Tar Heels have tacked on another run to make it 8-2. to two. You could tell Danny was looking fastball first pitch there because he hit that one right on the nose. The best high school catcher in the state of Kentucky a few seasons ago, and he frames that last pitch perfectly by Esposito. And a hard luck night for Horvath, who goes down looking at strike three. The 3-1. Three well, there's ball four, and he lost him on five pitches. Here comes the 1-1. Lambros on the move. Ball slapped into left center field. Wimmer has an extra base hit. Lambros comes in to score. South Carolina gets some insurance, and it's 9-2 in the ninth. Prize pitch. Hit through the right side into right field. Wimmer waved around from third, and Wimmer slides in safely. South Carolina's just hung a 10 spot on Carolina. One pitch to Madden. Ground ball towards the left side. Soretti gets to it with the backhand. A leaping throw to first. Osuna has to leave the bag to make the catch to keep the action in front of him. And another single goes up on the scoreboard. The first base hit of the game. First pitch. Bouncing base hit through the right side. South Carolina waves in Eister, who touches home plate. 11-2. Carolina's matched its well, South Carolina's matched its biggest inning with three runs scored and still not done with runners at the corners and one down. The 2-1. Round ball that goes off the glove of Castagnazzi into center field, and South Carolina's running rings around the diamond. Madden makes it 12-2. Hogan goes first to third. The payoff pitch. That's low and in the dirt. And the sacks are packed. Cozart's 1-1 one, one to the plate. That's pulled between third and short into left field. Run number 13 comes in for South Carolina. Hogan scores. Everybody else advances.
Because our deal is to Lambros, who responds with a little flare into right field that scores one run. Now two runs. And South Carolina is putting it on here in the ninth. Up 14 to 2. 14 base hits. The 0 1. Blown into center field, and it's Honeycutt underneath it to make the catch. Put a cap on the inning. Go one. Soft grounder again over to Wimmer. And the throw to first. Gets Wilkerson. And mercifully ends this game for Carolina, falling 15-2.